What up guys, welcome to a video. So I was gonna get into a quick little video here. So if you guys don't know, I've had this camera for a good while already. I bought it from eBay from a friend for like $150. So I've been pretty happy with this camera. Uh, there are some things I've been wanting to get into with this camera though. And the main thing I've been wanting to get into is what settings you should have for video. Uh, I know there's a lot of people don't have really good video quality on their Lumix on this specific camera because it's a mirrorless camera. So it's not gonna be as natural as a normal mirrored camera so i guess they made it like a more of a colder filter on here so you look pretty white if you have it on the normal setting so um yeah there's a panasonic lumix fz1000 so i'm gonna tell you guys uh what to do and what to change on this camera so go ahead and turn the camera on what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your menu crimson this here uh you'll be at the very top right here i'm pretty sure depending on where you left out on the menu go down to the wrench and you should be on the first page I guess when you get there and I usually press up and then it'll bring me down to the fourth page so you go to a set you press yes I'm gonna press no because I have all my settings done so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the filter on this camera so we're gonna go to uh, the normal camera settings so this is natural you can see it's very it's very uh, overexposed and I mean it's not bad but we're gonna scroll to the left I mean the right actually yes the right <laughs> and we're going to go to center like a V we'll press that and I do recommend using 4k on this camera if you do any content 1080p is okay you can use 1080p if you want more of a wider angle but 4k is fine for me uh, I'm go down here. Continuous focus. I don't remember this was on or off. I know some people say it's on and off sometimes on the camera, so just turn it up to on. Uh, metering mode. Don't mess with that. Highlight shadows. So here's what I did with my camera. So this is the normal setting right here. Highlight. We're gonna go to brighten shadows. I'm gonna press that. There you go. So at nighttime, if you're making a video at nighttime, it'll look a little more exposed light and stuff. Dynamic, you don't keep that on, it just makes the colors more like a Samsung, you know. iPhone's a flat color, Samsung has more saturation in it, that's what that does. So this is resolution, I keep it as high, I'm not sure what it does, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the video. I zoom, I don't personally like it, it looks a little, it doesn't look right in 1080p, but on 4K, I'm pretty sure it'll look fine, so turn it on if you want more zoom af after uh, digital zoom. So digital zoom, I would recommend to keep that on. Uh, digital zoom is pretty much the same thing as eye zoom, except eye zoom, it goes more than digital. So it's just zooming in on the image, like cropping in on the image on the phone, you know. So we're going to go to the mic adjust level. We're not going to do nothing with that. As you can see, the camera's doing fine. Depending on what mic you got, I guess. I do got a DDD4 Duo, so you can change that however you like. But mic limiter, always keep that on. So let's go down here in this setting. Let's go all the way up. So let's see. Silent mode, don't turn that on. Autofocus lock. So when you first get on your camera, it'll be stuck on AE lock. I turned it to AF on. So you're going to do that. And if you guys need to, pause through the video if I'm going too fast. Let's see. Quick autofocus. I recommend turn that on. That is pretty good when you're in 4K. Uh, it'll usually be off for you, but you can turn it on. I sensor AF, I don't think that was on for me, but pinpoint AF time. Make that short, because that just means like, if you're getting close to a bottle or something like this, it'll focus as fast as my Samsung S20 Plus just did, if you put it on short. AF lamp assist, I don't know what that is, but I would, actually I think that's the light up here. I'm actually going to turn that off. I forgot to turn that off. Okay, I know what that is. Turn that off. Don't use that. That's the orange light that comes on, and it looks like a laser is being shot at somebody. If you're, like, going around town, I've had that issue before. Someone thought I was using a laser as a cop, and, yeah, he's like, yeah, we thought it was a laser, so. Uh, AF, lamp assist, don't do that. Go down to focus. We're going to, uh, on here, I think it's set as focus when you first get it, but I put it as release. My camera, I got it with different settings, so. Manual. Okay, so I believe your camera will also be on this first setting on here on the manual focus assist. Then we'll go to focus to the second right here with the lens. Man, uh, I don't know what that is. 
Oh, MF guide. So manual focus guide. So when you're zooming in, like if you switch this dial to manual focus, it'll have green little lines circling whatever you need to have focus. I wish my mom Samsung had that. I think that's what peaking is. I don't remember. I think either manual focus guide, keep that on. Peaking, keep that on as you can see right there. Highlights, everything down here. Everything should be the same as mine. Go, go down. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think that's it. So go down to this. So this will help you guys a lot. So clock set, don't, I, I mean, you can do whatever you want with that, but we're going to go to beep. I turn beep completely off. As you can see, I don't like the beep. So we're going back to menu, turn that off, turn this one completely off too. Shutter tone, don't worry about that if it's off. Then we press back by going to the garbage can right here. Live view mode. So when you're on the app, the Panasonic app, by the way, for the people who use this camera and don't know what app it is, it's actually a Panasonic app. So, yeah, you use 60 FPS. Monitor display, I would keep that as normal. Don't change that at all. Monitor, uh, you can have this a lot brighter if you want, but if you want... Uh, they have a bright display you can go to uh, number one but I go to A because I mean I know what my camera's picking up I don't need to have like a huge bright screen it's just, it's just a waste of battery so this was set to five minutes when I had the camera I set the one minute because that's just a waste of battery sometimes I'll forget to close it and it'll just shut off on its own so that's good after one minute USB mode I don't know what that does I guess when you hook it up to a computer something like that it goes through okay so Let's see, and yeah, I think that's all we have to do. So now we're gonna do one more thing. This is very common for this camera. The focus, it's not bad compared to, uh, to a Nikon. So with this camera, your camera's gonna be f on this mode right here. I'm gonna tell you guys how to get to the focus. So there's a grid right here for a lot of people don't know about this. You press the grid and this will pop up your freaking camera after you set it. It should be on the same 49 area po point like this. You always want to keep it on eye face detection. That's always worked best for me. I don't know why. If I keep it off of face detection, it just starts focusing in the background. So that's the best for video. These dials up here, I wouldn't even worry about them actually. But yeah, uh, of course everyone knows you have to go to this right here. If you do want to mess with your video settings, every Panasonic or Lumix user will know when they first got on this video, that you're supposed to be on the M mode for video. Right there. Okay, so I think that's it. Autofocus, you know, you don't mess with that. White balance, don't mess with that. ISO, you don't want to mess with that. Uh, if you want to, though, if you're at night, at nighttime making videos, I would always do uh, manual focus if you're just pointing the camera straight ahead. I'm sorry for the messy garage. I just, you know, my mom just had to move in here. But yeah, um, yeah, manual focus. I would actually do this first, so put on all-time focus. Focus on the longest range. There you go, with this button right here. You press that down, it'll focus. Or you can use the zooming lens right here. Uh, are you, oh, wait. You always want to keep that on zoom. Keep that button on zoom and keep stabilization on. <laughs> and yeah, after you focus this in a long range, press it to main focus, and it'll be fine. See? See all the green lines and all? I don't know if you can see it. I don't know, maybe you can. I think you can, maybe you can't. I don't know. But see how it's focusing, green lines and everything? Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But yeah, that uh, that makes sure you're in focus. And if you are on manual focus mode, I would recommend to use the zooming on here, the zoom function, because I'll have it on focus. And it'll just start like going out of focus when I press this right here, and it's annoying. So make sure it's on zoom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments below. And yes, this camera does got a... A microphone port in case anyone's wanting to know so there you go anyways i'll see you guys later have a good day hope that enjoyed i hope you enjoyed it or whatever okay peace